the situation at hand right now, the real fact and the report I got says Madame should pack a load and get out of the Netherlands as a confirmed criminal. <laughs> My name is Blessing. Let me introduce myself first. On my channel, I talk about trending topics and every now and then I bring people of interest here to talk about their life and where they are at the moment, okay? So in this video, I want to quickly do a continuation. I don't know if it's really going to be a continuation of the last video that I did with DT for you analyzing what is going on between monica and lolo so in case you're wondering who monica and lolo are they used to be very good friends they used to be besties bffs besties for life do you know what i mean <laughs> uh, until things fell apart until they went their separate ways they actually got involved or they got entangled in a very very serious saga very serious saga that they started to drag each other online they started to reveal each other's secrets and when i say secrets i'm not saying baby secrets i'm saying really really serious incriminating secrets of each other um, accusations of adultery and so many other um, things that I shouldn't even, you know, be talking about on this channel. I'm going to put a pop-up banner here on my head. You can click on that banner to go watch those other videos and then come back to continue to watch this one. I'm also going to leave the link to those videos in the description box down below so that if you finish watching this one, you can also go down in that box, click on that arrow, go down and watch the videos in the in the box okay so let us get into today's video so last week well last time um i was talking about the fact that lolo had reported monica to the authorities to dutch authorities she had actually informed them that monica was involved in benefit fraud they told them that monica was um not divorced as she claimed she was well she was divorced on paper according to lolo but that she was still together with her ex her supposed ex and that you know she was receiving child benefit as though she were a single mother but in essence she's not a single mother according to lolo so um it really became a serious um topic on YouTube it was very divided like a lot of people um, were against what she did um, stating that no matter what you should have considered all the good times you guys had together no matter what you should never have gone that far you guys were fighting dirty yeah and I also said in my last video that, well, Monica also said a lot of things. Um, well, she didn't report Lolo to the authorities. She didn't report Lolo to her husband. But she did make some allegations against Lolo, allegations of adultery. And Lolo also made the same allegations, actually, against Monica of adultery. So that was one one. But going that extra step to really destroy... Uh, Monica's position, legal position in the Netherlands. A lot of people felt like it was far-fetched that she should never have tampered with that area of Monica's life. That she should have just talked to that Facebook fight and you did this, I didn't do this and not going as far as kind of like destroying her future in Europe, well in the Netherlands at least. And a lot of other people also said, well, it serves Monica right and that Monica is involved in fraud. And if you're a single mother, you should um, say that you're a single mother. But in her case, you're not a single mother. So why are you claiming child benefit? Well, you know, but this is my bone of contention here. So Lola reported Monica that Monica was involved in fraud, like I said before. 
But you know what they say that it's always easy to point the judging finger. And this video is not even an attack on Lolo because I am going to maintain my position to be very, very objective. Like, I'm not even going to put water in my mouth when I'm talking. I'm just going to say the way that um, I feel about it without being judgmental, without um, being disrespectful, and without being biased, okay? Here is what I have to say. And I'm not even going to report anybody. I'm just going to say what I feel about the situation and also for you guys, anybody out there watching this video, to maybe learn a thing or two from everything that is happening between these two ex-besties right now. So now, Lola made another video after she had reported Monica and she was jubilating actually. She was very proud of the step she had taken. And in that video, and that is maybe even the reason I'm doing this video, that is maybe the reason that prompted me to do this video. In that video, Lola said that uh, I'm a Dutch citizen and it's my duty to inform my government if anybody is doing anything wrong or something like that, something in that direction. And when she said that, she also said that um, people, they said they go report me, say I they do hair, I they sell hair. I don't take government money, government don't give me shishi. I don't claim, say I be single mother, when I don't be single mother, I don't take money. So when I go report me for waiting, I don't take government money. But here is what I have to say, that... You might not be claiming right now that you're a single mother or you're claiming right now that you do not have an extra income and you do. You're withholding government tax. You are earning an income from the head that you sell, which is a great thing. I'm like in full support of female entrepreneurs. Like I am all for women doing it for themselves, women in business, being their own boss, especially when you're a stay-at-home mom and you're lucrative, you're creative, you're doing something with your hands and it's good, you're good at what you do and you're making sales. That is what we all want, to, you know, for people to appreciate our craft and for us to be able to really sell our products. And she's winning at that. She is doing very well. It is very good. But sis, when you throw stones, and this is not only directed at, at Lola, like I said, but for all my viewers to learn, when you're doing something, you should be careful. Or when you're reporting people and you're complaining about what other people are doing, you should be careful, especially when you're doing the same thing. It might not be exactly the same thing, but you're doing something similar. Okay? So now, um, Madame Lolo has a business that even has a name. I believe the Golden Hair Empire, something in that direction. But I am so sure that she's not declaring her income. She's not paying taxes on the hair that she sells. And the funny thing about all of this is that she's doing it openly online. Like, she's really bringing it out there. When she's making those hair, she would come up um, to showcase the wigs and say, Oh, this is for my customer. I just made it. I'm going to send it off. Sometimes she even does her live videos when she's going to the post office to ship off her products, but she doesn't pay tax on those products. So actually, in essence, you are also stealing from the government. So in essence, your hands are also not 100% clean. So we really have to be careful when we are pointing fingers. And that is really what this video is all about. Like I said, this video is not really to attack Lola, like really it's not, but for us to just be very careful you might feel like you've done the right thing by reporting someone you claim that might be doing what she shouldn't be doing. And me personally, I do not condone fraud. 
um, I do not really, I'm not in support of anything that is going to jeopardize anybody's future either. But I'm also in support of practice what you preach, you know, live by what you speak. When you want to stand by something, stand by it fully. Do not only stand by it because of hatred, because you hate somebody, because to be honest, somebody out there might also actually report you. What do you do then? You're going to have to pay back every, every single tax that you have not, you've never paid, you know? So my advice to you strong women out there is if you are doing any business, it is not worth it. Sincerely, that 20%, 21% that you're going to put aside is lower in comparison to what you'd have to pay back in fines. And I am really telling you this from all of the people that I've heard from that have made that same mistake. Pay your taxes. Whatever you earn from YouTube also do. So not only the hair that you're selling and not only whatever product it is that you're selling, but you're also on YouTube and you're earning revenue, you're earning AdSense revenue. You have to put some money aside and pay it back to the tax officer. So whatever it is that you make online, in person, you have to always put aside 21%. In the Netherlands, it's 21%. In other countries, it might differ. Always pay your taxes. Do not steal from the government. So if you are preaching that you have to live by it you have to practice it because most people here their hands are not even clean do you understand so whatever it is that you're doing make sure that you are also having a clean slate and that is really what i thought i should quickly come out here to encourage women out there or even men on my channel if you're doing any business please Put a little amount aside because when they start to come for you, when the tax collector starts to come for you, what you're going to pay back in fines, you're going to regret it and you're going to wish you had actually started to, you know, put a little bit. Don't be stingy. Don't be greedy. I think it's really greed that doesn't make people pay tax. If you're making money, just put aside that. They say, give unto Caesar what is what is Caesar's and give unto the Lord what is the Lord's. And in this situation, give that 21% to the tax collector <laughs> so that you don't get into bigger soup. So if you have really found this video insightful, let me know in the comment section. Let me know actually what you think about everything that I have said. Also give this video a thumbs up if you agreed with me and if you think I have said the right thing and I have really said what is on your mind. Um, another thing that I would also like to ask of you is for you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because then you are going to receive all of my notifications when you click on the notification bell. So you don't only subscribe, you're also going to choose the notification bell to receive all of my um, videos when they are uploaded we can learn from each other we can share views and opinions and let us also keep it respectful i do not condone insults on my channel i would delete your comments and I, I might also block you i hardly block people but i really will delete your comments i do not want this space, my space to be a space or an environment for hate. Like it's really a clean space here. Positive vibes only. We learn, we grow here. So thanks again for watching this video and I will catch you on my next one. That is the re-cocos.